Hi guys! This is a Simon Expert and today we prepared another example for you. The X-rays with a given wavelength are scattered from the carbon target at the angle 90 degrees Celsius. What kinetic energy is transferred to the recoiling electrons? So, here we are dealing with the famous Compton effect. And the effect is as follows. From the left, the photons with the wavelength lambda are moving to the carbon target at rest. They collide and after that, the new photon with the wavelength lambda prime uh, emerges from the target. But part of the energy is transferred to the recalling electron, which moves in the direction shown by this arrow. So first let us find the lambda prime, the wavelength of the photon after the collision. And for that we will use the Compton scattering equation. It goes like this. Lambda prime minus lambda equals H over Me times C times 1 minus cosine theta. In here we have the wavelength of the photon after collision, the wavelength before the collision, the Planck's constant, the rest mass of the electron and the speed of light. And theta is a scattering angle. So we can derive lambda prime as lambda plus h over me times c times 1 minus cosine theta. And this is 100 times 10 raised to the negative 12 meters. And then we have this combination H over Me times C. It is called the Compton wavelength and it is equal to 2.43 times 10 raised to the negative 12 meters. And in braces we have 1 minus cosine of 90 degrees. Now cosine of 90 degrees equals 0, so in braces we get 1. Therefore, we just need to add these two terms and we get 102.43 times 10 raised to the negative 12 meters. And this is the wavelength of the photon after the collision. Let's return to our main task, the kinetic energy of the recalling electron. Recall the law of conservation of energy. E equals E prime plus Ke of the electron. So here we have the energy of the photon before collision, energy of the photon after collision, and kinetic energy of the recalling electron. And we know the relationship between the energy of the photon and its wavelength. So we can rewrite this equation as Hc over lambda equals Hc over lambda prime plus Ke of electron. And from here, Ke equals Hc over lambda minus Hc over lambda prime. Or we can uh, move Hc in front and in braces we have 1 over lambda minus 1 over lambda prime. And from here we can find the kinetic energy of the recalling electron. Alright guys, so here we obtain the formula for the kinetic energy of the recalling electron. And we know all the terms in this formula. So let's begin. First we have the Planck constant. 4. 135 times 10 raised to the negative 15 electron volts times second. Then we have the speed of light 3 times 10 raised to the 8th power meter over second. Now in braces we have 1 over 100 times 
10 raised to the negative 12 meters minus 1 over 102.43 times 10 raised to the negative 12 meters. And this gives us 294 times 3 electron volts. And here we found the kinetic energy of the recalling electron. Thanks for watching us and I see you next time.